Hey y'all, we're in my bathroom. So scandalous. So today we're gonna talk about chest binders. Don't use ace bandages because they, when you wrap them around, you, you wrap them how tight you think they are, but once it's wrapped, it shrinks slowly throughout the day. So what it can do is it can end up damaging your ribs. Like there's been cases where it squeezes so hard that it squeezes your rib, breaks your rib, and punctures your lung, and then not good things could happen. <laughs> Another thing not to do is don't uh, bind with duct tape, and that can hurt your skin, get like blisters. It could also be bad for your back, so don't mess with any of that. All right, so I'm gonna take my shirt off real quick and show you with my sports bra on how to measure. Okay, so this is a really worn out sports bra. So you want to get one of these measuring tapes that are like flimsy and they're usually like in a sewing section if you go to like Walmart or Target or maybe one of your parents has one just lying around. So there's two main brands that people tend to buy from the Underworks and GC2B. For the Underworks Tri Top, which is the most popular style that Underworks carries, you measure around the fullest part of your chest using this, um, so like over your nipples. So again, you want it over like the fullest part of your chest and you take a measure, you wanna make sure it's like, you know, not loose, hanging down. You don't wanna be like, you know, pulling it as tight as you can. You just want it to like lay flat, snug, but not like digging into your chest, you know? So for GC2B, you measure before your tissue starts to happen in, kind of like right under your armpits. So again, snug but like not too snug. If you go to both of the websites, if you want Underworks or GC2B, there should be like a sizing chart. So if you're like 33 inches around, then you're gonna go for, it'll say like small is 31 to 33, medium is 34 to 36, or whatever the measurements are, and so that's how you know. So if you're in between, so let's say, I don't know if this is correct, but let's say small is 31 to 33 inches. Let's say you're 33 and a half inches, and medium is like 34 to 36, always go for the bigger size like so round up because if you get a smaller size which i have done um it actually acts kind of more as like a push-up bra and it's really really tight and um constraining and i ended up getting like a size up and it like Mine did so much better. It was a lot more comfortable. So now I'm gonna show you the differences between my Underworks binder and my GC2B. This is my first binder. It's um, a Underworks binder. I got it in a binder giveaway. You can do that like on Tumblr and on Instagram, YouTube. There's always binder giveaways for free. So if you're broke and need a binder, I would Google some of that stuff. So this is, it looks like an Underworks tri-top because a tri-top cuts off like a sports bra. And then there's some Underworks ones that are full length and look more like a tank top. So this was originally a full length. And the guy who had it before me cut off, you know, because it was a full length because he didn't like it. He made slits because it was bothering his ribs. It really does work pretty well, but I don't know if you can see. I mean, there still is like a noticeable bump, you know? And you get this sidearm thing because you have to like arrange yourself. It's like an up and over motion, you know, to get the flattest appearance you want. Another thing about the Underworks is the material. It's really scratchy, really not very comfortable material. And the Underworks binder is just really tight and it kind of constricts your breathing a little bit. So Underworks is not the most comfortable. So this next one is my GC2B, which I love. It's kind of like an Under Armour material in the back, so it breathes really well and absorbs sweat really well. Whereas the front is this like panel, which isn't stretchy. Um, and this one is fantastic. You get such a flat appearance. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's so comfortable. This binder, the GC2B, like you cannot even tell that it's on. It feels just like kind of a snug sports bra. That's all it feels like.
there is not a big price difference. The Underworks Tri Top is, I believe, $30, and this is $33. I would definitely, 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 definitely recommend GC2B. It's the bomb.com. The packaging is really discreet. It just says, um, from Karen. So it's super discreet if you have roommates or anything like that. Another thing with how to buy binders. So let's say you're living in your parents' house. If they won't give you a credit card to let you buy a binder, you can like take cash money that you have, go to CVS or Walmart or something and get a Visa gift card for like however much you calculate the binder price to be. And then you can use that gift card online to buy the binder. If you can't ship it to your house because you don't want to ship it to your house, have your mom find it open it and throw it away. Maybe send it to one of your friend's houses. For how often I wash my binders, it's kind of just when it starts to smell bad. It's just kind of like a regular sports bra or a bra. As to a washing machine or hand wash, most people recommend that you hand wash it. For GC2B, I know that you are allowed to put it in the washing machine, not in the dryer, but they say that it'll last longer if you hand wash it. Mac, how do I hand wash something? Well, I'm gonna show ya. Step one, you're gonna either wanna use the sink and you know, plug it up, or use like a bucket. You're gonna wanna fill it with warm water. I'm just using this bucket, and when I mean fill, I mean like maybe halfway, you know, with water. And then liquid laundry detergent would probably be ideal. I am currently out, so I'm just gonna, you know, take some, some dish soap and, you know, put some in there. I probably put too much, that's okay. And we're gonna just take our binder and we're just, we're just gonna put it in. Dip it all up around in there. And once you do that for a while, you're just gonna let it, you know, sit there for maybe 10 minutes. So you've let it soak and now you're coming back, right? We're just gonna, you know, take it you're gonna wring it out and then you're gonna come over her just gonna you know rinse it out and once you rinse it out you just want to kind of hang it up to air dry so yeah that was kind of my chest binding 101 if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments if you have any like helpful tips that i forgot to mention definitely leave those in the comments as well hey guys it's mac and today is a good day it's a very good day because I'm doing a collab video with my friend, Cam. My name is Cam, and I come from you today live from my bedroom. 